I can tell you a thousand stories about hugs and kisses and all the ways my mother showed me that she loves me. That's typical, standard, ho-hum. Things every mom does every day that she has children living in and around her home. But my mother, Elaine Brewer, has an amazing ability to do double duty as a mom. She has preserved my life, clothing me, feeding me, educating me, encouraging me, all the while keeping me in constant fear that she would kill me at any moment. <laughs> <laughs> Not literally kill me, but she'd say weird things. Old school things like, I'll smack you so hard, your head'll be rolling down the street saying, I ain't got nobody. <laughs> Get it, nobody? <laughs> now, I would never make light of child abuse, but I wasn't abused. I was loved and threatened within an inch of my life at the same time. There was one time my mother did slap me. I didn't know it was coming. I was about 13 years old, I'd walked in the front door of our home after I'd left without permission and without telling anyone where I was. Mommy was hiding in wait like a marksman. Excuse me, Mark's woman. This means mommy planned, stalked, and prepared for my return. Not for what she'd say, but for what she'd do. I remember only a few moments of what happened. I remember putting my key in the door, turning the lock, and opening the door. I maybe took three steps before I was slapped by a ninja who looked just like the woman who gave birth to me. The woman I'd never seen run or ride a bike or do much physical activity besides work, fold and wash clothes or cook, had suddenly summoned up the power to unleash her right hand across my face. My hoop earring flew off, never to be seen again. Seriously, I've looked and I've looked 30 years later, I still don't know where it is. But the lesson was ingrained. I never, ever, 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 ever thought about leaving the house without permission again. This is old school parenting. Mommy and daddy subscribe to the I don't wanna be your BFF type of parenting. The democracy stops at the front door type of parenting. The if anyone is gonna kill you, it's gonna be me type of parenting. <laughs> I'm 42 years old and I still think my mother would slap the taste out of my mouth if I got out of line. They were what we used to call love taps. Slaps you got at home so that the world didn't whoop you upside the head. Can you blame her? There's a distinct difference between how discipline was handed out depending on what decade you were born in and how much melanin is in your skin. Black moms in the 60s and 70s were very strict about their children. And many black moms I know and chat with in the 2010s are equally anxious about their sons. Keep in mind, my six years of parenthood have been marred with headlines about fatal interactions between police and young men who look just like my son will in 10 to 15 years. Young men who were shot 10 times and killed by police, like unarmed Florida A&M football player Jonathan Farrell. All Farrell did was knock on a door at a nearby home seeking help after he crashed his car and ran towards police for help. And I find myself yelling a little bit more and scolding a little bit more then maybe I should when our six-year-old, Antoine Jr., doesn't listen the way I'd like him to. I am scared about what lurks outside the doors of our home, and so was my mommy. But I give all credit to my parents, especially mommy. Her scare tactics were part of the reason I graduated from high school with honors and scholarships, finished college and graduate school, became a professor by the age of 27, had a successful career as a journalist, interviewed Oprah, and earned an Emmy Award. Married, then had a baby in that order. <laughs> Thank you, Mommy. Don't worry about looking for those lost hoop earrings you slapped out of my head. The sense you knocked into my head is still there.